magnetic fields, the sun, and how they affect consciousness. This and much more on this month's version of N5D Afterthoughts for November 2019. So for those of you who tuned in to our mid-month energy report, I started out by telling you guys I had the sneezes that day. I was sneezing... <laughs> I don't know, probably like 25 times before I even started making the video that morning. And today, the sneezes are gone, but I have the sniffles. So I went from sneezes to sniffles. thought that was interesting. Um, you guys also do this, you know, because I was mentioning synchronicities on that last video too. Have you guys ever done this? Now, most people will have a clock on their stove and occasionally the Electricity goes out for whatever reason. Here in Florida, that's a common thing with you know all the thunderstorms that we have here. Occasionally you lose power. It's usually a short period of time and it comes back on, but the stove needs to be reset. The, uh, the clock on the stove needs to be reset. Usually I don't reset that clock because I, I kind of like going in there and seeing what kind of numerical synchronicity is waiting for me. And that happened again today. So I go into the kitchen and uh, I was, I was uh, using the timer for something or another, I don't remember, but the timer goes off and I click end and it goes back to showing me whatever time was programmed or not programmed on the stove. It just happened to be 5.55. And I just knew before I even saw that number that it was going to be something that would resonate with me. And of course, at that time, when I when I did that, I, I looked at my, my cell phone. And what time was it? 1101. So you got the 1101 binary code, three ones, and the 555. Just uh, numerical synchronicities seem to be coming in waves. <laughs> so is that happening to you guys? I want to tell you also, this is something that's, that's going to be coming up new on the N5D tie-dye shop. What I have are these uh, ladies shirts now i've got actual ladies shirts they're so soft and they tie tie dye so fantastically too because of the softness and the availability of absorption of the dye and as you can see that they're they're more cut they're more cut for a woman they, they go in more like that and you know they're ex accentuate the ladies curves so that's just the cotton candy one uh, that was crew top. Then I also have the V-neck, something like that. That's an ice dye, and it just came out fantastic. And here's just one more. So I haven't actually posted them yet on n5d.net. They'll be coming up soon. I still have, I think, nine more to dye. And I'm working on finding some good prices in bulk for them. It's hard to find that kind of quality in bulk at a great price. So um, they, they do cost a little bit more because they're more expensive than what the uh, t-shirts are that I get in bulk, but not much more. So I think you guys will dig that. Check them out at n5d.net. So today's topic is the magnetic field, the sun and consciousness. And what got me started on this was I, I was watching a video by Suspicious Observers. And this came out two days ago on November 24th. Today is the 26th, if you're watching uh, on the day I published this video. And the video is called Deadly Landslide, Flood, Sun and Consciousness. And that's what that's the part that really caught my my eye not the deadly landslide but the sun and consciousness <laughs> and so well let's fast forward to the starting point of 323 and we'll check out what he has to say about the sun and consciousness we've seen a great deal on space weather cosmic rays and human cognitive function notch another one on the scoreboard here for the cosmic rays and speaking of cognition the brain conscious thought 
excellent piece here, if you have access to it, is consciousness really just effects of magnetic fields, captured and confined and running through the neural electrical system. They claim this completely changes some aspects of personality and decision science at the mind level. So the video has a link to the article where he got this information from. And it's called Solving the Hard Problem, Consciousness as an Intrinsic Property of Magnetic Fields. And I went through and I checked out this uh, PDF. Lots of things that I found interesting in it. Uh, here's one thing. It says that there are 7 billion magnet magnetic crystals in an average brain. Think about that. 7 billion. There's approximately 7 billion people on this planet. What if each magnetic crystal is a representation of each person on this planet? That would bring another whole meaning to we are all one because we're all together right here. And the way to communicate with one another is bringing this into this right here, the heart, the mind into the heart because this is where the true magic lies. Um, one other thing I want to cover before I switch over to uh, the full episode on Patreon is an experiment that I'm going to be doing too with magnets. I found these large magnets about that big around and about that thick and there's eight of them. I got them on Amazon and they should be arriving today. So I'm going to be setting up different experiments on I know they they sell magnetic headbands but they don't have the strength that i'm looking for so i've got these heavy duty strength magnets that i'm going to be experimenting with and making headbands fo focusing perhaps some on the uh, on the temple some right on the pineal gland and so forth around the head and making a homemade headband and experimenting with magnets and consciousness so that's going to be a fun experiment I've got a lot more I'm going to be covering on Patreon. I want to thank everybody here on YouTube for joining me. And once again, as I always do, I'll be playing the bumper music for an additional five minutes. So hang out here and chat with us. Uh, and I want to, like I said, thank you all for joining me, sending you all infinite love and light. Until the next time, this is Greg from N5D. But for those watching on Patreon, let's continue on.